within 15 minutes, got tore down, head off, and what people do makes me laugh. The guy said that, not the guy that I bought it from, well, it probably was the guy I bought it from, but he said the guy that he got it from just replaced the rings in it, but yeah, he might have replaced the rings, but uh, the piston is like there's a huge gap. Now, you guys can't see it really all that great. There's a huge gap around it. I, if I can bring it up to the top, at the center, I can probably show you. I mean, like, well, there's not much that, not much movement, actually. There, I mean, there's not really any. Well, I mean, you can see a gap there all the way around. So the piston, he reused the piston with new rings, I guess. Since, I mean, that's all. I mean, that's fine. I can leave that. Maybe sand it down or something. Like, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, maybe the walls look good. So, maybe this bike isn't all that bad. Um, I'm going to have to get my dad to give me some money, something. I'll pay him back. But the only thing that I am really kind of pondering about is, you guys see that right there? It looks like a blur. But right, you can't see it. Uh, huh. I gotta put this light somewhere. Right there. Right, you can't see it. That, the one right there. See where my finger is? Right there. See it? It's like kind of beveled up. What's on that side too? It's the same exact side. Same exact everything. So maybe I can just uh, use my die grinder or my uh, Dremel tool and just kind of, you know, because I'm going to have to pull the head off. And then I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with the kickstart. Because, I mean, it sounds like it got pretty good compression. But well, you never know. I mean, the head's not on it, so it doesn't have compression. But, I mean, it sounds like it doesn't, you know. But the... Oh, I should have tightened down the spark plug. Because the spark plug wasn't even tight or anything. So, maybe I'll put the head on real quick. And, but, I mean, I doubt it'll change anything. I mean, I'm going to do that anyways. I'm going to... Do the top end in it. But it's not all that bad. I can still kind of hear the bottom end bearings. Kind of, sort of. But I don't know. Maybe next year I'll rebuild it when I have money. Or just sell it. But it doesn't sound all that bad. I mean has no oil in it so yeah let's stop kicking it over but has no oil in it so um he said he drained it out but you know people say a lot of things but it don't look bad not that I don't even know what I'm looking at I think that's the Kips uh thing well I'm gonna call my dad to tell him about this well, it's not that bad. I mean, I tried to push it, but it, it I knew it wasn't going to work, so I just said fuck it. But, yeah, all right, stay tuned for more. I mean, it has this, too, electric uh, knit thing. This plastic's, like, brand new. So, it has a uni-air filter, a gripper seat, guts, gripper seat or something like that, they called it. Nice picture of an ass on the back. You know. FMF power core, uh, just power core, FMF fatty, gold series, or FMF gold series, not a fatty, so, not bad, I mean, I'm pretty happy, I guess, I ain't totally happy, but I knew it was gonna need a top end, he told me it was gonna, so, I'm not all that pissed off at him, but the clutches seems alright, but I'm gonna take that apart today, 
Um, because I have to figure out the shifter bullshit. But, alright, thank you.